stepping on a plane right now. I'm so excited. We needed a little change of scenery. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, we're Brittany and Drew, two hopeful adventurers who got married, moved into a van, and have been chasing adventures all around the globe ever since, and are now about to embark on the journey of owning property and moving to Portugal. all the way across the pool. Whoa. Wow. You are amazing. <gasps> ah. <gasps> Quickly. Ah. Happy New Year. We missed you guys, but we certainly enjoyed taking the past couple of weeks off to take advantage of the friends and family that were in Florida for the holidays. No way! <laughs> and remember Drew's beloved childhood vault that was basically ruined by the hurricane? Well, Santa brought him a new one. He scrubbed all my smash pennies again. Aww. That was a labor of love. Speaking of labors of love, in today's episode, we'll be donating the remainder of the money you helped us raise just in time for us to fly off to our next destination. But before we go there, let's fill you in on where we are now. Drew and I are house-sitting for some friends, some of you guys. We actually stayed on their houseboat in the San Francisco Bay in 2020. You might remember that episode. It was one of our favorites. While we find ourselves in a new space, we find ourselves also surrounded by new books. Why don't we have Drew read us a page? I liked what you read me earlier on page 12. There are three motives for which we live. We live for the body, we live for the mind, we live for the soul. No one of these is better or holier than the other. He cannot live fully in mind without books and time to study them, without opportunity for travel and observation, or without intellectual companionship. To live fully in soul, man must have love. Ah, like you, my love. Aww. <laughs> When it comes to taking care of our minds, our bodies, and our souls, we don't do everything perfectly, but we do try our best each and every day. And there is a quote that I heard. Nearly all behavior patterns can change by shifting one root habit first. And once you do, the rest of your habits will follow as a result. For Drew and I, and maybe for you too, one of those habits that really sets us on the right path each and every day is taking AG1. This is a nutritional drink that has 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients that takes care of our guts and creates a diverse environment within so that our minds and our bodies are filled with energy and what they need to function properly. For us, it's AG1 for life. You can take the travel packets with you wherever you go, or it's just one scoop a day. For Drew and I, who are always nomadic, whether we're in a camper van or house sitting, <laughs> not having to lug around a bunch of vitamins is so much more convenient to have AG1. And by using our link below to start this new habit for the new year, you will get five free bonus travel packs and a full year supply of vitamin D. So join us and start taking care of your mind, your body, and ultimately your soul in one very easy way. Ready, babe? Now I am. <laughs> you guys are new to our channel or if you missed the last episode of the year we have not just one but two more families to gift thanks to the donations that you helped us raise to help families who've been affected by hurricane ian who hit now like four months ago but we're very grateful that we can be a part of the rebuilding process help them start their new beginning a reminder that you know things will be better we're all given challenges in our life and some are harder to understand and than others but all you got to do is stay strong have faith and know that you will get through anything 
and we're here to help, luckily. The first family, we actually aren't able to film with them. They asked to remain anonymous, but their story is an absolute testimony. Like, they survived. After evacuating their one-story 1940s Fort Myers Beach home to ride out the storm in the second story of a hotel villa where they thought they would be safe, this couple, along with their 10-year-old son and cat, were forced to climb into the roof for safety. And the next morning, they emerged to discover that the roof they were in was now in the middle of the canal. And while they all survived, their home and everything they owned was swept away. We're just really grateful that we were somehow led to them. And then tomorrow, we'll actually be going through a tour with one of the families of their home. And by the end of this episode, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have some really exciting Portugal information because our D7 visa applications have been at the Portuguese consulate for now, how long? Eight weeks? About two months. Some people say they heard back after two weeks. Some people it was like three months. We're in the sweet spot. We're feeling hopeful. Something else that you might not realize that our D7 visa application situation is sort of affecting is the fact that we can't necessarily book flights anywhere because once we get the okay from Portugal, they want us to mail in our passports so they can put the little visa paper in there. So that means if we try to book flights internationally right now, but we hear back and we have to give them our passport, we won't be able to actually fly out because we won't have our passport. So we've been in this funky limbo, like do we go anywhere? Do we just keep waiting? Anyway, we decided we could go somewhere that doesn't require passports. So without giving it away, we just want to tickle your fancies. Don't reveal it. <laughs> I won't reveal, but at least you know there is an adventure on the horizon that we're very much looking forward to. Someplace I've never been. And I think you went once when you were little, but anyway. We're just hoping that we hear back, like, very soon. Wanted to show you what we're putting in the bags for the families. We decided that a Cold Stones gift card would be fun because there's a Cold Stone right when you get on Fort Myers Beach Island, and it will open again. And when it does, they will get to think of us, you guys, and just how grateful they are to be able to get ice cream on the island again. Ice cream, you scream. We all ice scream cream. for ice cream. Yay! You! How much are we giving this family? 1500 That's and great. tomorrow's family has two children, so we figured 2000 I like it. Which is a lot of money. It is. We get to make a big difference with that. It's not like, here's 50 bucks to public. <laughs> We're certainly making a difference, so. Hey, it's Tom. Hey. How are you at Automation? Hey, Tom, how are you today? Do you guys still over in service? Referring to finally getting spirit fixed after we were rear-ended by the semi on our way to help after the hurricane. So they're basically working on the springs right now over at Mercedes. That's it. Okay. That's just the spring deal. The back's all been done since Friday, so. That was a call from our guy at the body shop. He told us that Spirit be done hopefully in two more days. So fingers crossed and Eesh. we'll have our van back. Spirit has a new butt. <laughs> <laughs> Whole bunch of new things. Yeah. This is part of the startup cost of being nomadic. Every time we have to move into a new place and set up and break down, it takes time and energy. But we are very grateful for this space. Thank you, house. Thank you, friends. While we have a moment in the car here, I was thinking about just all of the different ways that this community continues to amaze us, not only with the house sitting that we were just able to do, but one group that we just don't get to thank enough is our patrons. So those are people who behind the scenes choose to support us and contribute monetarily to every video that we put out there. And that's really just something that blows our minds. So thank you to all of our patrons if we don't say it enough. But on top of that, there was another one of you, a viewer, who reached out to us through email and offered up to fix and retouch some of the photos that Drew's parents lost in the hurricane. I think she does this professionally. She teaches photo classes, yeah. a fellow Michigander. So kind and it really, really made his mom very happy. Can I say it brought some life back to the photos? It did. Thank you. Looking forward to meeting with another family in the morning, we made our way back to Fort Myers Beach, where cleanup efforts bond this strong community 
and where the sunsets are just as beautiful, but maybe even more appreciated than ever before. Good morning. We are walking over right now to gift our third family with donations. What's crazy is that these are literal neighbors of Drew's parents. Yeah. It's like less than a five minute walk. And what's even crazier is that the mom of this family actually grew up in this house. They have a son who's in first grade and a daughter in third grade who went to Fort Myers Beach Elementary. Their entire lives were on this island. You know, they lived, they worked, they went to school, they ate, even the grocery store, like they hardly left the island until now. Um, but we're very grateful that we get to be a part of the hope and joy in rebuilding their lives. And that's all thanks to you guys. So they're waiting for us right now. We're almost there. There's a lot of construction going on in this neighborhood, which is a good sign. Very good sign. So this is Kevin right here. Yep. And his Come sweet on, daughter, Marina. Marina. So tell us a little bit about living at this house. My mother-in-law purchased this house. There was nothing around here. There was yeah. no houses. It was flat. And a lot of this is uh, original Florida pine. This is where the dance parties happen right here? Oh yeah. You oh, break it down? Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh yeah. It's, uh, it's still here. This is my room! This is the best room in the house! You still see all of your space? Daddy, my things are so good, I didn't even notice! Wow! Oh, I want to take off my focus thing. We'll get that for you, but I can't reach that. <laughs> Drew can reach it. We'll get him to help. Jenny, my wife, born and raised on the island, went to Beach Elementary, much like her sister. Yeah, yeah. Uh, had their name engraved in the cement. We've met some of your classmates or other students that go to your school. We've met with those families. Awesome! So, yeah. It's been such a privilege to connect with people in need out here. And we and really hope they do. rebuild the school. You guys you know? are, you guys are yeah. even, you're giving me goosebumps because uh, we're, we're fighting thanks, for that man. school. Yeah. I've helped gut some of those kids' houses with their parents. Yeah, yeah. We've done so much to try to persevere through this yeah. to, to hope. Part. Yeah. to hope that something like this is going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Everything was Everything just came straight down the street. Straight right down there. the street. Oh, this house was underwater. Refrigerator is on their roof. When we were allowed to come back, our front door was kicked in. Uh. And unfortunately, some people decided that they were going to spend time in our house while we were not here. Oh my. Her ukulele, the jewelry, their piggy yeah. banks from when they were kids. What the storm didn't take, bad people took. How does that happen? It seems unreal. We got something for you, Marina. This yeah. is for you and, and your brother. You're welcome to open it when Can I open it? Like, well, you're going to open them with Thomas. Sure. I don't even know how to say say thank you. Uh, I don't even I've, have to. I've, don't worry about it. Oh, give us a hug, I've man. been humbled. Yeah. Drew, yeah. my brother. Hi. Miss Brittany. Yeah. Really oh my goodness. Marina. Thank you so much. Hey, Thank you wonderful. so much. I can't even believe we're yeah. able to do this. This you know? is so you know what in all honesty so I'm really I'm so <laughs> thankful for oh. what you guys do and just being out there and doing something for us and our community. It's we're lucky. it's amazing. Well that was amazing. And now we're back in the car and we're headed off because well from all of that goodness that we got to spread to others. We got an email from the Portuguese consulate. Our Very V7 exciting. visas have been approved. We did it. We're gonna be Portuguese residents. They're not even requesting any more paperwork back. So right now we're going to the post office and we're mailing in our passports. So we're really grateful that we didn't actually book flights to an international destination because we wouldn't be able to mail our passports until we returned. Anyway, all of this is working out even better than we could have planned, and we can't wait to share with you where our next destination is. It's gonna be a good year, guys. And just like that, it was time for our passports and us to take flight. Just not together this time. We're going somewhere new. We're stepping on a plane right now. I'm so excited. We needed a little change of scenery. Any guesses on where our first destination of the new year might be taking us? Hit pause and let us know in the comments below. Because after three months of living in a post-hurricane world, with our rolling home in disrepair, we were in need of a little staycation to help us recenter, get our inbox back to zero, and get us all caught up and prepared for the huge adventure that moving to Portugal and owning our very first property would soon require. And we can't wait to share that journey with you. We'll see you back here in the next one. We love you guys. You are the best.